Hello everybody, welcome back once again to uh, Kill Tower. This is my fortress where I plan to sort of terraform this mountain, dig it back to the bedrock and carve a fortress out of the mountain itself. We'll see how it goes, it might, it might go well, might not. Um, I'm currently digging out a um, tavern here. This is going to be our little dining hall. And um, yeah, I mean, I haven't got much to show above ground, really. Most of the stuff, see, because we didn't have any where to, you know, get uh, trees or to graze our animals, I pretty much spent the first episode, we'll go down, down, down to the caverns. And uh, I spent the first episode just sort of sealing off the, basically this, this whole, like if we look on the map up here, this whole corner of the map, is pretty much sealed like this area of the caverns is sort of sealed off so I sealed off the walls and then yeah we've, we've got this corner of the cavern to ourselves so I'm gonna start putting some uh, farm plots down here and uh, yeah this that's pretty much it really there's not much to show it was a lot of sealing off and building walls and things and uh, we've got a little well system here and but not many dwarves to be honest we missed one of the caravan one of the caravans came and i forgot to trade with them before they left so we've got a few bedrooms for the dwarves but eventually we're going to move them up i might turn that into like a dungeon or something those bedrooms but yeah we've got 11 dwarves one miner died sadly i'm also going to get rid of these plots here i'm going to move them downstairs because these were just temporary so we're going to we're going to build farm plots down here somewhere um, I think we've got a nice area over here which will be good for farm plots if I remember correct. You don't need a huge farm plot to feed the dwarves really. Oh, some more migrants have arrived just as I started the video. Okay, good. Um, well, looks like I'm going to need some more... Uh, more bedrooms then okay so this is going to be this is going to be plump helmets all time always plump helmets just a constant supply of plump helmets thanks gonna have one that's going to be for um i mean we can do like dimple cups but mostly it's going to be pigtails more plump helmets in the winter Yeah, and then this one, I don't know, sweet pods. We've got quarry bushes. I don't know, should we build them? Sweet pods if we've got them. Cave wheat and... Yeah, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So yeah, oh, this is dug out. Okay, good. So let's us smooth out this. And we're going to have the... All right, we can stop making barrels now. I really need to set up a manager at some point. So we're going to make... We'll make tables. Tables and chairs from fungi wood I think that'll look nice and I noticed because we started off in a desert but as I'm cutting away the land here we're actually getting grass up on the top which is interesting I think that'll be something nice right we had a miner die last time so what I'm gonna do trying something else here how do I do it do a blueprint so Yeah, just so I know where the front of the thing is, right? And there's chip, there's these bloody chinchillas coming in constantly. Start capturing some chinchillas. Start a little chinchilla breeding program. Maybe we can trade them or something. I don't know. Oh, there's goats. Okay, so we've got 16 dwarves now. I probably need some more bedrooms while we're thinking about it. Um. Oh yeah, temporary bedrooms, like I said. But they'll. That'll be all right for, no, for a while. And 16, there we go. So let's put some 
tables. Something like this. Yeah, this will look nice. So let's turn this into our tavern. New tavern, the geared supper. Okay. I don't know how dwarves choose their names for things. It's very strange naming conventions they have, but the geared supper it is. I will also do some engraving. Let's see if we've got anyone who's good at engraving. Uh, no one. Okay. Well, we'll just have all hands on deck engraving then, shall we? Whatever. Whoever wants to do that. We'll just have some nice... Yeah, something like this. Just a little centrepiece around the well. Around the gathering spot at the well there. And then, uh, yeah, let's have a look at the miners mining away here. Still... Yeah, I think they're doing their job. Okay. A couple more bedrooms for everyone. Yeah. So I didn't think we'd get any mine, uh, migrants because usually you've got to trade a bit to attract them here. Um. But yeah, they seem to. So we already got people visiting our uh, amazing tavern. Yeah, hello. Are you having a good time? You come to socialise, but everyone's off doing doing busy work. Legendary wax worker. Mm. Getting a lot of humans visiting and a goblin. Mm, I don't know about this. Ted Doorwordy. That's a funny name. Doesn't sound like a a goblin name. And all things people have uh, engraved here. Lime trees. Nothing too interesting here. Uh, the dwarves aren't too skilled. Purring maggots. Uh, a masterfully designed image of two rubber trees. It's a symbol of the Grizzly Barricade, a local dwarven go government. Okay. There you go. Interesting. Interesting, eh? So yeah, we're digging down. This is going to be mo mostly an episode of digging down. I'm getting, us, getting lots of nice gemstones out of it. But yeah, I think maybe digging, starting at the top and digging downwards, maybe I won't have as many terrible accidents as I was having. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, so the miners are working away. We're basically digging a big wall downwards here. This is... Um, yeah, this is going to be the front wall of our our our, temp, our uh, fortress here. It's kind of big. The front line. There we go. We we'll select the next layer level. The next layer. Got a petition already. Someone, somebody already wants to live here. Let's have a look. Who is this? Jestry Blee Search wants to stay here to... Let's have a look at this person first. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can find this Jestry Blade Search. Um, oh, Jestry. This will be him, won't it? Oh, this is the legendary wax worker. Hmm. I, you know what? I think you could. Go on, then. I don't know. I mean, we're not really got, having monsters, are we? But he's got low self-esteem. Oh, I don't. I don't want to knock his self-esteem by rejecting him anymore. All right, fine, fine. Yes, maybe we'll be able to build up that self-esteem. If we ever find some monsters to fight, then that'll surely build his confidence. 
More migrants, shit. Once again, we're going to build more rooms in here. Damn it, I haven't got anything here for them. Um, right. Oh, no, we need beds. Um, right, I really need a manager just to make sure we've got all the stuff we need. I guess what we'll, we'll turn this into a temporary manager's office. Um, we'll put a little door in just here. I don't know. Table. Chat. Turn this into an office because we're gonna we're gonna need something here, and then we're gonna have to make a manager. Okay, manager. All right. This herbalist is a novice organizer. Okay, well that's good enough. So let's start building, making some manager jobs. Um, brew drink from fruits. Make some easy meals. Beds. And doors. It's going to be a big cliff edge just dug into the mountain. It's going to look amazing. It's going to look amazing, don't you worry. I also need some more bedrooms while we're thinking about it. Yeah, this is all, this is a massive job here, but it's getting on. Honeybees here. Hmm. Should we make a little um, hive or something? Might be worth doing. Um, how do I make a hive? Not, not here. I think I need a craft dwarf shop. How do I build a hive? I always forget. I think this is it, isn't it? Yes. Someone else wants to stay here. Keth Mark Scholars. Let's have a look at him. I don't mind if they want to stay to eradicate monsters, but um, let's have a look at this person. An adequate beekeeper. See, if you stayed to be a citizen, You'd, you'd have a right job because we've got beehives now. He's a thrill seeker. He's humorous and lustful. Quick to love. Developed empathy. I suppose. I suppose. Go on then. Fine. If you don't mind staying in our... We need like two more bedrooms, don't we? This This sort of temporary bedroom is turning really... Sort of untemporary, I guess. Fine. Fine then. Yeah, look at this. Look at this job. Look at the amount of mining that we're doing. Absolutely crazy, if you ask me. We need somewhere where we can do our gem cutting and stuff. 
It looks like we've got bees in our colony here. Someone's been doing that. Yeah. We've got some full-scale terraforming going on now. Oh, what's this? A caravan's arrived. So we didn't get a human caravan, I don't think. We've only got the dwarves, which is strange because there is humans quite close by to us. And they seem to be visiting, but... Yeah, um, hmm. how about we cut some gems quick? I don't, I don't think we've got anything to trade with them, as usual. We could make some crafts, I suppose. Yeah, one trader's ready to trade. Let's try not to miss them this time. Yeah, the gold nuggets. We've got a load of them. And these are rough stones here. I know I know we can make so much more money by cutting them, but let's just we'll find we'll find more. Come on. We'll, we'll be fine. Just, I just want to trade something this year. Alright, so still still moving things over. Let's bring the broker over here anyway. We'll just trade what we've got at the minute. I want to make sure we trade something. Even if they're still bringing things. Okay, here comes several. Let's go. Trade. Right, let's just mark everything. Ten grand profit. We're giving away a lot of stuff that we could have improved and made a lot more money with. But who cares? And look at all the booze. Let's just let's just get them. Why not? And then yeah, loads of loads of food, loads of fish because we don't really have a fishing spot yet. I, that's something I need to set up actually, a fishing spot. Yeah, that's just um, loads of berries, bit of yarn. Why not? Cheese, yeah, go on. Oh now, I like trade. I wish I could take so much, but my animals are excess weight. Oh my god, no. I can't do it. I can't do it. The gold nuggets are way too heavy. Way too heavy. I didn't even check his excess weight here. <laughs> Just trying to load them up with gold. Mm. No, not going to work, is it? But he, we're trading at a loss now, so we'll have to give away. We'll have to give some stuff back. Okay, fine. Um, here you what? You can have that back. You can have them back. You can have that back. There we go. He took it. He took it. The fool. He took it. The idiot. Okay, fine. All right. That seemed like a good trade. That seemed like a bargain on our part. I always, I always spaff my money on books for some reason. It's pretty much me in real life, you know. Anytime I make a frivolous purchase, it'll be a book. You know, when I could be trading for weapons and food, cloth, things that we actually need. I'm buying books for a library that we don't have. Well, that's because I've got grand plans for this place. Grand plans indeed. Okay, let's see what the, what the miners going. On. Yeah, the miners are going on. They're getting there. It's a great wall here from the top down. Dun, 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 dun. It's it's getting there. It's just very very slow. The further like the further down we get, the more we have to channel out to get this flat wall going. One group of strangers. It always seems to be telling me down here that a citizen is stranded, but then it goes away. So I'm thinking they're not really stranded. It's just something weird going on with the pathing when, uh, yeah, probably when I've channeled something out, suddenly they need to change their pathing and they f they think that they're stranded or something weird. 
I'm liking that this place is getting all green the more I'm terraforming it. It's, um... Yeah, that's interesting. I'm bringing life back to the desert almost. I don't know if terraforming is the right word. I'm going to use it because it's describes well what I'm thinking in my head. But I think terraforming is more for like when you're sculpting a planet or, you know, changing the changing the um what's it like the atmosphere or something like that. I don't know. What 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 would be the word here? Oh, here someone else wants to stay. Milo. Milo Ivory Earth. Uh, let's, let's take a look at you then, Milo. I, I don't know. The thing is, we haven't got many monsters. Uh, where is he? Milo, this guy. You know what? No. Sorry. Sorry, but we, we, we've had a few staying here, so... Uh, I, don't want, I don't want a place filling up with humans. This is a dwarven town. Oh, here we go. Uh, probably off. I think this, is this our first time having an artifact? I think it is. I don't even see an artifact button down here. Does that does that mean we haven't got anything? Okay, okay. I wondered when that was going to happen. It seemed like we hadn't had an artifact for ages. Also, more migrants have arrived. Damn it. Okay, uh, someone's created a Rylodite's scepter okay let's have a let's have a look where is the button for artifacts objects oh it's a different it's a different image okay they've just changed the image of that um rylodite scepter is adorned with hanging rings and spikes of native gold okay fine that's not too exciting is it but I suppose it's our first artifact, so it will be remembered for that reason alone. Yeah, does that mean it's in our workshop here? Yeah, we've got our artifact outside in the workshop, which isn't good at all. What I'll do? We'll make a big stockpile out here for... stone blocks or we'll make sure there's no stone blocks inside yeah we could also do a refuse pile as well so let's do uh, another stockpile for all of our junk just there we go so now we'll stop bringing the blocks outside and bringing, hopefully, the precious artefacts inside. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. That's the plan. Miners are hard at work. Good, good, good. Um, maybe I should train up another miner. I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Labour miners. So, yeah, this farmer's doing mining, but also, like... See, this farmer, I don't know what's going on with... I think what the problem is, we've got three miners, but only two picks. Um, so, how about we build? Get more workshops outside. We need a metalsmiths. Fine. Fine. And we need... Uh, wood furnace. Fine. And we need a smelters. Fine. Fine. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all the industry that we're going to be bringing inside one day. I like the way the look I'm made out of uh, obsidian. So, make charcoal do it on repeat. Hopefully, we've got some wood. Got charcoal? Okay, so make some smelt some tetrahedrite yeah so i think this makes iron does it tetrahedrite it doesn't really matter whatever it makes we're going to make it into uh into a pick it's copper or oh, fine fine um um copper pick there we go it's not the best material for a pick i suppose but it's better than nothing Oh, yep, there we go. There's our 
lady farmer who's now a miner. Maybe she had a heart set on being a farmer, but um, no, I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll come to love mining. It's probably the most important job in the whole fortress. So once you get into the swing of it, you'll love it. I, th I feel like all dwarves are drawn to mining in some way. So I, I have no qualms about that. So also desperately need way more bedrooms. Temporary. These are temporary. So I like, I like the idea of having the bedrooms right up against this wall so that they can kind of see out. Um, let's plan it out while I'm thinking about it. Okay, This is the plan here for the bedrooms. We've got a plan. It's a plan of some sort. The plan is the plan. Um, let's make some rock mugs as well. <laughs> rock mugs. Um, 30 should be enough, eh? And 10 wooden chests, why not? So, yeah, I like the idea of having the bedrooms out here, and then I'm gonna, if I can make glass, I'm gonna start having them with like bedrooms and things. That'd be lovely for them. But that is, I don't know, I, this is sandy loam, loamy sand. So I, hopefully I can collect sand from those areas. I'm not 100% sure if that counts, but we'll try it. Start making some nice bedrooms for them. some chests in. Alright, so we're nearly at the we're nearly at the the base here. We're getting there. Oh, what's this? One thieving or mischievous creature. Oh I see. A giant vulture. Shit, well we haven't got a hmm, this is kinda of spoilers. I don't know if I like this. Can I I mean, I don't mind warning for starving and stranded, but let's um, let's turn these off. Spoilers. I feel like that's that's part of the game, trying to figure out that there's mischievous creatures, right? So we, we're gonna need a military, I think. Um, I forgot how you do it. You've got to build a. Militia commander. This carpenter is a competent leader. I hope you're also a good fighter, but I don't know. And then... Yeah, let's have a look. Just gonna, I'm just going to hire some randoms. Peasants. I don't want the miners doing all this stuff. This weaver can go. Um, yeah, good. So I should create an area for the people to train. Um, yeah, that'll be the next thing, I think. And I could have them training outside for a little bit. <laughs> that'll toughen them up. Um, barracks. So this is your training areas. There's not much to look at, I'll be honest. But you can come out here and train the feed of oils. is a weird name for a squad, but okay. All right, the miners are nearly done with this. Now we'll come to the layer where we're right at the bottom, so I'm going to have to be careful here. Just digging out. I'm digging out this tunnel so we don't cause a cave in by accidentally channeling out the areas around it. And there we go. See, and now the now the manager's office is exposed. Hmm. You know what? Cancel that. Yes. Remove. 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 And remove. We're going to move the manager inside at some point. Okay. 
Should be safe now. <laughs> Might get a cave in, but should save the miners out. And this will be the last layer of this. I'm kind of going to let the the shape of the mountain dictate the, the shape of the fortress a bit. But initially we've just got a big wall of nothing. Like a big sheer wall. That should be intimidating to our foes, I hope. Here's the training going on out here. I don't know why these guys haven't picked up weapons. I'm pretty sure I've got weapons for most people. Maybe not, actually. I think I only got enough for like five people, so... Um, copper mace. Right. Um, again, we're going to build workshops outside. If they don't like it, then uh, that's, that's the, up to them, I suppose. I'm going to build a loom. I'm going to build clothes shop yeah I think this will be our dungeon once it's once we're done seems like a good place for a dungeon down in an old gold seam There we go, more bedrooms created. Um, oh, these are done. Okay, that's all the weavings being done. So let's make cloth bags. And also, I'll tell you what else I want. A kiln, uh, a glass furnace. And I'm hoping this is an area where I can collect sand, but I don't know. I don't know whether it's possible. I'm just going to... Uh, can we see, actually? I don't know. I don't know. So, collect sand on repeat. Will someone do that? No, let's have a look. Needs valid active sand zone. Damn it. Hmm. You'd think the desert you'd be able to collect some sand, but this is loamy sand. I guess that means I can't. That's a shame, isn't it? I have to trade with the caravans, I suppose. So I guess we'll have to wait on the windows. Unless I build gem windows, but... Uh, I mean, i need a lot of gems for gem windows, wouldn't I? Although it would make the dwarves really, really happy. Fine then. You know what? <laughs> where's our jewelers cut gems on repeat let's do it let's do it let's go crazy oh, everyone wants to stay here everyone wants to live in our amazing fortress right look we've got nearly got this whole thing dug out so we've just got this big massive area here For the manager, yeah, excellent office. <laughs> You'd be so happy about that. Okay, let's start digging out this little corridors off to the side that lead to staircases that go up to our bedrooms. And this is where the dwarves are going to live, for the most part. This is going to be their sort of permanent bedrooms. An elven caravan's arrived, hey! That's a turn up for the books. Don't know what we've got to trade with the elves, but... Um, Look at these guys standing in a line. What are they up to? Socialising. Just stood in a line like that. Okay. Well, go ahead. Okay, let's have a look what the elves have brought before I decide whether I actually want to bring anything here to trade with them. A wren. A peregrine. Not really. If they brought something giant, I'd be interested. This cape's quite nice, but nah. I never really bring anything too interesting, I don't think. Acorns. Do we really want a load of acorns? Not really. Not really. Apples and pears, though. Mmm. We could make perry and peaches, actually. Go on, then. So, 
So yeah, I just, I really just want to trade a load of apples and pears and peaches. I think that would make some nice booze for us. So too heavy in it. Uh, okay. Yes, accept counter offer. There we go. Fine, there we go. We've got loads of fruits to eat. Very nice. What the hell's all this? Oh yeah, shit, I remember. We're digging away these. We're digging away the um, the slopes here. Good. Okay, start smoothing out some of this. What's this here? Loamy sand wall. Oh no. We've actually got some sand wall here. We're going to have to build some of it. Well, we're going to have to build a bit of a wall there. Yeah, a little, a little bit of patchwork now and then is, is all right. A lot of smoothing underway. Oh, ah, no, ch child's been possessed. Thank God. All right. Uh, let's have a look here. I want to build a gem window in these gaps. Moody Dwarf can't find a needed item. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like these um, DF hack things. Can we not? I mean, I, it is useful, but... Bones. Ah, he needs bones. Okay, fine. Well, let's slaughter an animal then. We've got these yaks. We've got a donkey. We've got a camel. I mean, I suppose the yaks have no use today. Yak bulls. Does need we never need another outdoor workshop though. Uh, what was it? Farming is it? Yeah, butchers. I don't think we've got a butchers yet. And we may as well build a tanners while we're there. Again, it's all just stuff that's going to get brought inside. I haven't seen that giant vulture since it came up on the map. There we go. Look, we've got some gem windows here. Now we're going to need a lot of gems for everything. And also, I'm sort of. Because I want to build as much as I can out of the actual rock. There's gems here that I could be mining out that I'm just smoothing into rocks. So, you know, I'm, I'm missing out on some gems, but at the same time. And also, I've traded so many away, which is not ideal. Okay, the bull's been slaughtered. Looks like this child's moving around and has begun a mysterious construction. Okay, good. Now we're digging down here. This is, I don't know what this is. Some kind of courtyard type of thing. Just a way of doing something. Just a way of digging down and making it an open space. Oh, a yak bone mace. Let's have a look at that then. Partnered Tress, the Wispy Dot. Not too exciting, is it? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like as time goes on, you get more interesting artifacts. The first few they build are just quite plain. It's not the worst thing ever, but, you know. Oh, more bloody migrants. Got 39 now. Oh, my God. Okay. Start putting these bedrooms in now, since we've got some new migrants arriving. I don't know how many yours we've got, but we may as well put in as many as we can. Okay. Beds. I also feel like we're going to start running out of wood soon enough, so that's another thing that I'm going to have to... Start doing. Okay, here's bedrooms. There's 10 bedrooms now. I don't know how many we need. I think we needed about 12. But this will do. Hmm. 
I'll start putting in the gemstone windows as well while we're thinking about it. I think I've got enough to do each level for now. A bit of a waste of gemstones, but I don't care too much. It's nice to have nice things, isn't it? It'll keep the dwarves happy. They are quite happy, actually. If you see here, there's 15 a bit meh, but I think a lot of them are probably just new arrivals who are just not really too bothered. Um, just use closest material. So they're, they're, all the windows are different colours and things. It looks quite nice, I think. So yeah, digging out another big area here. This is going to be sort of the next step up. I'm going to build some like, maybe some towers on the edges here. You've got the entrance here in the, the big desert. You're coming across the desert and then you come to this big wall carved into the mountain here. This big carved away area with some grass growing. You're like, wow, that's grass. And then uh, walls of gemstone studded windows going up and it'll go up and up. And then eventually we'll hit like, um... but I want to have towers on either side here sort of dictated by the shape of the mountain here. So a, a tower here, possibly a tower here. But at the moment I'm just sort of carving out big square areas that don't really look like much, but you know, the, the way I'm building it is kind of organic. It's kind of just coming out of the, the shape of the mountain. It's not going to be an even looking thing. It's going to just be, it's going to be there. It's going to be carved away. It's going to make sense in my head. Human caravans arrived. Okay, good. Keep telling me these miners are stranded. They might actually be stranded now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, they're sleeping up here. Hmm. I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Build a little temporary staircase up there. Just up the top here. Right, here come the humans. I don't know what they brought. I don't know what we need. We've got 40 dwarves and I feel like I feel like we've got plenty of stuff. Let's see, maybe make some crafts while we're thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, I think the miners are stranded up here. They're getting a bit thirsty, they're like, oh god. Hopefully someone comes and builds this staircase soon. Construction inactive, of course. 40 dwarves, half of them hanging around in here doing nothing, but you'd think they'd be coming to build this. Mm, let's build a different staircase from something else then. Let's build a copper staircase. Um, copper bars. Because I, I know that we've got that. I, I, it might be that they're trying to build the staircase and things that are up here and they can't quite do it. Yeah, because they're immediately going to build the copper staircase. So I don't know what this is all about. This just seems to be uh, some some reason why the dwarves can't build this staircase. Probably they're trying to c collect materials from somewhere that they can't get to. This copper, the grand copper staircase will be constructed. The miners will be saved. I mean, while you're here, miners, you may as well keep digging, eh? Sure, it's fine. I'm sure, you can keep digging. Yeah, why not? Come on, Cyril. There we are. The miners. Whew. There we go. They're like, oh god, get out, get me out of here. I need a drink. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die if I don't get a drink. Hmm. See what we've got. An amulet. I don't, I don't really know what the. I mean, we could we could trade. Look at this prepared food. Thousand dollars. Seed barrels. We'll bring some of the food. I 
I like this shape here. I think this will make a cool looking tower. That's my plan here. A little tower. I'm trying to plan out my uh, next move here. I'm going to have a... Oh, the merchants will be leaving soon, damn it. Well, we got a broker. Anything cool? Nothing really. Do we need any of this? We could get some of their wool, I suppose. Wool, leather. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Onions. We could make some onion beer. That would be lovely. <laughs> I'll do. So yeah, we're digging out here. We're digging out the bedrooms, but also digging out this area here, which is going to become our little um, something. It's going to be our little something here. channel all that out and here what so like this is the bedrooms area here oh more migrants they've heard they've heard i just i said the word bedrooms and they immediately like oh what's that bedrooms what's that you said do you say bedrooms so yeah we're digging out here this is um just like a little open air courtyard area here on top Bit of a bit of a big mining job, but we're just digging all this out. So yeah, the bedrooms will go up, and then we've got the big area up here, and then over here. This is how you get out onto that courtyard. By the way, might put another one over the other side, and then we're going up. And this I'm going to turn into a tower. So we're going to have a lot more channeling going on, but this is this is going to be say the top of the tower where we look out. Okay, someone's claimed a stone workers workshop. Oh, it's our manager. Our manager's begun a mysterious construction. Probably dissatisfied with the quality of the work that's been produced. And it's just like, right, I'm going to take matters into my own hands here. Let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it's done, he says. Granite earring. Let's have a, let's have a look at it. Play bow. Yeah, nothing too exciting yet. Again, I, I like them when they've got like weird images on them and stuff, but we'll have to wait for that. Got a miner trapped here. Start deconstructing these stairs. And um, yeah, we'll start getting rid of these. There's like ramps around here. Start getting rid of that and start smoothing this. This is going to be fortification. So if we need be, the archers are going to be able to stand up here. There's a few bits where we need to mine it out and rebuild them. As I say, most of it, as much as possible, we want it dug from dug from the very rock itself. Try and build it out of the same rock, though, if we can. Blocks from the same rock. So, yeah, I'm going to build fortifications here, and we're also going to engrave fortifications into the rock itself so yeah once we get some archers going we'll have them if, if we get invaded we can have them standing up here shooting over the edge safely from behind the crenellations there hopefully that works I'm not sure about this there's like a floor here which not sure what happens when I carve this into a fortification. Will the floor stay? <laughs> I mean, it'd be a strange sight. Yeah, this is all going to be smoothed. So this is the top of our tower. It's hard to really tell what I'm doing at the minute, but this top of tower. So this is open air. Yeah, it looks like. See, there's like. Hmm. I don't know how you get rid of like the floor, but it's, it's weird. It's a strange design, but it'll work anyway. So I'm going to carve fortifications into here as well. So it's like the top of a tower with the crenellations, but above that, there's going to be like a weird layer of like soil, which I'm all right with. It's a strange design. It's, it's a quirk of the 
fortress. So the next thing is going to be um, fortifications carved into the wall there. So this is the start of our first tower and I'll probably build another one over here. Slightly different shape, maybe a bigger tower. Like this will be like a little small tower here. I've got 46 dwarves, I really need to start building the bedrooms for them as well. I think we're also running out of wood, which is worrying. I don't know whether... The thing is now, I'm afraid to go out into the um, caverns because I feel like by now the cave creatures will have got wind of our movements and they'll be out there ready to strike any moment. As soon as we uncover this area, like, you know, demolish the walls and go out there and try and get more wood, they're going to be on our tail. So, I'm not going to just deconstruct some of these stairs that we've been building. Yeah, another strange fortification. I guess the way to visualise them is usually on a castle you've got like the crenellations where the archers can stand and shoot through. But here it's more like a window with a strange like rock layer on top of it. And then the crenellations underneath. Very strange, but that's just a, a side effect of the the building process. I don't know how I would get rid of that without channeling down and digging into the rock below it and getting rid of those fortifications. So it's just how it's how it is. It's just how it, it's going to be from now on. It's fine. So yeah, digging, digging slowly out. The miners fighting, let's have a look. Where? It's, sometimes this happens as well. I've noticed sometimes when you're deconstructing stairs, they they have a problem with it and they, they'll injure themselves. It's one of the risks of building stairs. Sometimes they'll just fall. I don't know why. Hopefully you're all right. Are you okay? Seriously injured. Mm. Oh, no. We haven't even got a... Mm, we haven't got... Hospital, have we? Tell you what, we'll do this zone here. Gone. Yes, I want to get rid of it. Ugh. Let's turn this into a hospital. This fish dissector can now be the chief medical dwarf. What's this here? Hey. A hairman pro poet. Irani Hazy counselled. Ah. Well, I just denied a petition without really looking at who it was. I didn't know he had a hairman, or I might have paid more attention, because um, if he offers to stay here, we're definitely accepting. A hairman? Yes, of course. Of course we'll have a hairman. Right, yeah, I don't know if we've got any wood to get, but... Let's start chopping down some things. Well, I hope the miner made it to safety there. Where is he? Is that him? Oh no, he's seriously injured. I'm hoping someone comes along and helps him. He's at least he's in bed. More more migrants. We need some temples, don't we? That's something that the fortress is lacking horribly and I haven't even looked really at what um what our deities are so I don't know we might have something interesting look at the look at the lush green world that I've brought forth here isn't this incredible we might actually get some trees growing above ground Oh, the caravan. The caravan's arrived. Okay, well, actually, we'll do the trading on the next episode. So at the minute, yeah, we've got a lot of industry outside. We haven't got any temples. We haven't got enough bedrooms. We've got a nice tavern with a lot of people turning up, including a goblin by the looks of it. 
but yeah, a lot of building still to do, and I'll just have a look. We'll have a quick look at the fortress. So as I say, this you got your entrance here. So if we could, you can see better on here, you can see the the shape of the. So you've got the mountain roughly over here, and then it sort of cuts in. We've got this big wall, and then we go up through the bedrooms. And then up again to some area that I haven't built yet. Probably put more bedrooms in here. And then the top here, this is all open. It doesn't look it, but yeah, we've got an open area here. Open air. And over here, there's another staircase going up. And this is going to be a tower. The beginnings of a tower. So hopefully you can visualise this tower. Which we're digging out around it. We're digging down. Hopefully over here another tower will exist. Maybe a different shape or a different height. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the episode. This has been Kill Tower. And uh, not a lot of killing yet, to be honest. We're sort of still waiting to see if we actually get invaded. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.